Feather stars and sea lilies, with their delicate fringed arms, look like exotic underwater flowers. For many years, researchers only saw fossilized remains of crinoids like these and thought these beautiful animals were extinct. Then, in 1864, researchers using a deep sea trawl net retrieved a living sea lily. Now, using Mbari's remotely operated vehicles, we're able to capture beautiful high-definition video of these mysterious creatures. After analyzing ROV video recordings, we found that crinoids are among the most abundant animals observed on seamounts near Monterey Bay, and they're also very abundant in Monterey Canyon. Using our ROVs, we've also been able to observe different crinoid behaviors, including their techniques for feeding on plankton as it floats past them in the current. Modern-day crinoids have two distinct forms, sea lilies and feather stars. Sea lilies are anchored to rocks on the seafloor by long stalks. Feather stars, on the other hand, are free to roam. They crawl along the ocean floor or swim by bending their arms back and forth in powerful strokes, which lets them quickly avoid predators. Most often, we observe them holding onto rocks with their finger-like cirri. Nearly 600 crinoid species have been identified in the deep sea, and researchers are still discovering new species. In fact, Imbari scientists collected a new species at Pioneer Seamount, just north of Monterey Bay, in 2003. For the Monterey Bay Aquarium, I'm Ken Peterson.